you see some tents. Tents are associated with the Teutons. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention that was really interesting. So, the Teutons are obviously Germanic tribes. Teuton is a sort of archaic English word for German, which, uh, in comparison to the word German, which comes from the a Latin term for those people, the word Teuton comes from the old Germanic word for the Germans, which in ancient times was something like Feodisk, uh, but has, you know, w was, was able to be sort of transformed slowly into, like, Theodisk, um, or, uh, Psedisk or something, um, which became, uh, Teuton in English. And then Theodis became Teutsch uh, in late medieval German, uh, which became Deutsch, um, the German word for Germans in modern day German. Uh, but <coughs> the these uh, Teutonic warriors, um, in fact, did uh, invade. Uh, Gaul from the east around this time period. And so the Gauls were fighting on two fronts. They were fighting the Roman invaders under Caesar and the various uh, Germanic raiding uh, parties. But the interesting about this game is that they took a lot of liberties with the Teutons. First off, they're all on horses. All of them. Every single one, somehow. The next one is um, you can see that they're all wearing, you know, lots of furs, lots of black. The next one is mine. Armor, silver armor, and big spiked clubs. Uh, and if they're not uh, carrying spiked clubs, they have bows and arrows. So you've got a, a fully uh, decked out army of mostly cavalrymen uh, and horse archers. So Mongols, basically, they made the Teutons into Mongols. Uh, it's completely a historical and very strange, but also very badass and fun. Um, you know, it's it's an example of, you know, it's a really interesting historical license that I can appreciate. Although I guess in this tour, in this uh, campaign, the Teutons have uh, archers and axemen and, you know, they owned all those towns that we had to rest from their control with swordsmen and what have you. Although all those uh, other swordsmen and axemen could very well have been uh, Gaulish warriors that they conscripted to fight for them. So we're doing very well. I hunger for battle. And most likely, we won't even have to keep all these troops alive, necessarily, to fight in the next level. Because that normally doesn't really happen, that you just have all your troops carry over like that. So we don't need to be too stressed out about micromanaging the troops. Oh, shit. There's so many, dude. They're starting to get pretty chewed up. Oh my god, dude. I take back what I said. At least the Viking ones are here. Dude, dude, Larix. Where is Larix? I don't even see him. Larix. Dude, bruh. I don't know how much health you have, dude. Oh, you're fighting, like, 
five archers by yourself. I guess that's fine. Yeah, man. Viking lords are impenetrable in this game and other games. Hmm. Destroy the Teuton encampment. But yeah, um, the Teutons are basically Mongols. Uh, and you especially see that in the random map mode, where the way that it works there is the Teutons are NPCs that um, live in these enormous like tanned leather hide tents that look very aesthetic and spooky and, and you know, evil looking um, tents as evil as tents can look they look pretty damn evil uh, and they spawn from the tents uh, when you get too near them and then if you can manage to kill uh, a certain number of Teuton horsemen that spawn from these tents, then the tent will actually uh, turn over to your control and you can uh, have a fairly decent supply of horsemen that will just keep spawning from the tent. I think they keep spawning from the tent. I don't remember. They might just have the same Teutons that... Um, they might just have one group of Teuton uh, um, shock cavalry and one group of horse archers, and it stays like that. I'll have to play a random map and get back to you on that. Okay, let's continue. Thank you for saving me, warrior. I thought I was dead. Fear no more, woman. I'll make sure no Teuton harms you again. Do you know which way they went? Yes, they went further into the woods. Just go northwest and you see their trail. Hmm. That's not much to go on. Isn't there anything else you could tell me? Unfortunately, no. But I do know of someone who could help you. I have heard that somewhere to the northeast there is a sacred druid sanctuary, but... But what? I have heard that the druids kill anyone who tries to find their sanctuary. That is why few dare to do so. Yet if you manage to earn their trust, I am sure the druids will help you. There is nothing under the sun that they don't know about. Then I'll find them. Go to Kabata and tell the Elder I alone am going to find the druid sanctuary. Farewell. So we've spawned in another map, and just as I anticipated, you don't have to micromanage more troops, because it's a new uh, game, and what? Hello, druids. I'm Larax, and I seek the druid sanctuary. Can you tell me where it is? If your need is great, it will lead you to the answer. Hey, you! Give us all your money and we might spare you! That you cannot have. Larex, excuse our disappearance. Hey, bandits, pick on someone your own size. I, <laughs> I had to get an American accent for that line. This sounds like an old school 50s, like. Superior. Hey, pick on someone your own size. Thank you, Larex. Far too many bandits fill our lands. Will you lead me to the sanctuary now? The sanctuary is hidden, and shall not be revealed. Go to the village where it is safe. Farewell. Go to the village. Hmm. Well, uh... We've got a... cool level, uh... ahead of us. I don't really remember... a lot of the rest of the plot. Only that there is a twist at the end. And... You meet up with a druid, and it's a long, long fight to get to the druid sanctuary. That's about it. 
Uh, and there's another helper that you need as well. Um, I wanted to mention before I kept getting interrupted that um, uh, you see that Larix is level 25, and so all of your units at one point or another uh, also have levels, and they keep, you know, they rack up levels pretty quick, and obviously, you know, the more levels you have, the better your attack and defense are. Your hit points, probably, as well. I'm not sure what the, uh, uh, highest level is, but I'm sure it's quite high indeed. Okay, until next time, I think I'll take a break and do something else. Until we meet again, save. Farewell. <laughs>